Uh, Thorven as a company was started off in the Western Cape in 2002. And in 2005, they opened up an office in Gauteng. Uh, that's when the Tireletso Trust, of which I'm a trustee, along with Leva Marshall, invested in the business and took up 51% uh, ownership. At the time, Thorben in Gauteng had about two to three hundred people. And in the time that we've been involved, it has grown in leaps and bounds. Uh, we currently employ in the region of 4,000 security officers who are operating in various sectors of, 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 of the, of, 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 in our industry. Uh, we are involved in the mining uh, sector, where we do a lot of mining security all the way from Limpopo, Mpumalanga, Northwest, the Northern Cape and a bit of areas in the Free State. Outside of that, we do a lot of work in the corporate uh, sector. We do incorporate uh, headquarters in the Cape, in Jovek, in Pretoria, and a lot of uh, economic hubs in the country. One of our strong areas of presence is where we do residential estate security. Uh, we're doing a number of high-end golf estates in George. We do fan court. Obai, we do Erinvale in the Cape, we do Desalza in the Cape and Atlantic Beach. So that has been one of the niche markets that as Thorven we have uh, involved ourselves in. Uh, as a company, we put our people as, 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 as uh, first. Uh, we value our people because we're in the people business. And, 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 and as such, we invest a high premium in, in how our people look and how our people conduct themselves. Uh, as a company, Thorven is a operating in a highly aggressive market uh, but then we by working in the niches that we've identified we've managed to really for the size that we are uh, think that we are relatively successful one of the key elements that contributes to our success is our involvement in the communities in which we operate uh, in this fold uh, from areas in Tuvati we get involved in the communities. We've done a lot of community work in those areas. But more specifically in Gauteng for the past three years, Dovin Security Solutions have been involved with the Super Shongwe Memorial Golf Challenge. Uh, myself, I'm from Atrejil and I'm one person who places a high premium really in investing in the communities in which I come from. Because I believe that as and when we are given opportunities as people, we need to be able to let those filter down to the people uh, who contributed to our success and to our upbringing. And as such, I took a decision uh, to get involved with the Super Shongwe Memorial Golf Challenge. I'm a keen golfer myself. But outside of that, I think the work that they do is things that are really close to my heart as a person and as a company. It's really close to our philosophy of reinvesting a lot of our money in, in the communities which provide, most importantly, our staff are from these communities. And as such, we feel it very important to, to get involved and in a meaningful manner uh, in the communities in which we operate. Outside of that, I think uh, Thorben as a company is really a good corporate citizen and I think this speaks to that uh, and I always emphasize that as a company it needs to be, you need to be seen to be doing good uh, for you to be real, to, for you to be able to realize uh, the benefits of that and, and, and we live the talk, uh, you know, some of the things we believe in and the ethos of our business, we really demonstrate it and we we do it on an active basis. Uh, Thorben uh, as a company has diversified into other areas, but in the main we are focused on security, physical security services. But then we now have an interest in security technology, uh, where we do CCTV camera installations and maintenance. We've opened up a monitoring center where we do off-site monitoring for most of our existing clientele and new clients. Uh, and and, and, and as, as, as things and time goes, we, we're really looking into new areas in which we can diversify because I think a business that's not growing, it will be dying. And diversification is one of the areas which we've looked to say what other services can we provide. And in that fold, we, we really try to get into other uh, FM services that we can look to get. So as a company, I think uh, we, we've done well in the, in the 12 years of our, in the 10, 10 to 12 years of our existence. And, and, and it is through initiatives of this nature that I think our name gets out there and our name gets, gets to be seen to be involved with the communities in which, in which we operate. Uh, this is an initiative that was started about six years ago in memory of my late father, Supa Shongwe, 
who was a golfer, participated in a number of sports codes, both as a player and as an administrator. At the same time, during his lifetime, he was a benefactor to a number of charity organizations in our community. Six years ago, as I've said, we, it was the 30th anniversary of his passing. And we thought it fit that perhaps the best way to can remember him is to continue some of the things that he did in the community. It was on those bases that the Shongwe family, represented by myself, approached the Kelly's Social Golf Club, of which I'm a member, and we requested that we jointly put our efforts together to raise funds for charities and organizations, I mean, in our community. Now, this has been happening over the past six years, uh, from small, humble beginnings, where we had about 60 to 70 players. We have grown like, for example, today, we had a full field in excess of 120 players. Even when we started, uh, there were a lot of doubting Thomases. Not many people came to, to support us. Uh, but through our persistence, we've been able to get to where we are. And I mean, as we speak today, we'll be making donations to charities in excess of 120,000 rands. And I must say it's greatly, and thanks to, to Thorben, uh, who have been part of us for the past three years. First, they came in as invited players. Next, they made a small little donation. They increased it. And this year, because of the kind of work that they've witnessed, they decided to sponsor almost every single expense that this golf day has cost. So what we have received from other companies and every single cent that the players have paid to be here today is what will be going to charity. And you can just accept that uh, from where we are and how our relationship is growing, it's just a matter of time that we believe they will become the title sponsors for the event. Uh, we are indeed grateful to Thorben for their generous donation to us. And given the type of company that we have seen them to be, we have no hesitation in recommending, to, in recommending their services to our other business associates. And uh, them also coming from our community, we can say, you know, as the not so true expression would say, it, and we are indeed grateful for our association with them, and we hope they grow from strength to strength.